is Grace, and today I'm going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is... <laughs> Today's the Bible title is the last story. We'll see. In the story, there's all kinds of stories in there. Let's read God's good news. Be part of the story. Let's read. In the beginning, God made everything. He made it perfect. He will make us too in His image. He loves us and wants to have us real, have us a relationship with us. So, in the beginning, God made everything, and He made it perfect. There are no suns and no tears, no deaths, but. Mm. And he loved us, and he wanted to have a relationship with us. <laughs> Sadly, Adam and Eve disobeyed God. That sin brought to death into our broken earth. Uh, we're in broke. Our relationship with God. It also break God's perfect will. So suddenly Adam and Eve disobey God, and that mm, brought death. And this death has broken a relationship with God. Through the whole world, everyone sins, and the result of sin is death. But sin couldn't stop God from loving us. He had a plan. So sin spread everyone to everyone, and everyone sinned. But sin. Can, couldn't stop God from loving us. He had a plan. <laughs> Adam and Eve since broke a relationship with God too. True. Because of his love for us, God sent his son Jesus into the world. <coughs> Sin broke our relationship with God, but Jesus came to fix it. So because of his love, Jesus, God sent Jesus to fix our relationship with God. Heal sick people and perform many miracles. He welcomed lonely people. He taught people about God's love. His perfect life shows us what love looks like. So Jesus healed many sick people and he showed them many miracles. And he welcomed lonely people and he loved everyone and. He welcomed everyone. So, his perfect love shows us what looks like. I love what looks like. What love looks like. Question Does God ever stop loving us? False. God never stopped loving us. He also loves us now. I even saw Jesus never sin. He died on the cross for our sins. 
because he loved us. By doing this, he was caring about God's plan to fix our relationship with him. So, even Jesus never sinned, not even once. He have died on the cross because of our sins. And that was God's plan to fix our relationship with Him. And if that Jesus didn't die on the cross, we maybe we have to keep sacrifice. But God sent Jesus, and Jesus came at. He has been our forever sacrifice to fix our relationship with God. Three days later, Jesus rose from bed, breaking the power of sin and death. He spent time with his followers, teaching them. Then he return to heaven now jesus lives forever so three days later jesus rose from death breaking the power of sin and death now jesus lives forever <gasps> God loves us so much that He sent His only Son, Jesus, to die on the cross for our sins. True. Next page. Jesus did not love us alone. He sent His Holy Spirit to live inside everyone who trusts Him. The Spirit gives us power to live the way God created us to live. So Jesus mm, didn't let us live alone. Jesus sent His, sent His Holy Spirit to everyone who believes in Jesus Christ. And the Spirit will help us to go to the correct way that God created us to love. <laughs> One day when Jesus returns, God will make everything perfect again. He will make a new heaven and a new earth. Everyone who trusts in Jesus will live with him forever. So, when Jesus returns, God will make everything perfect again. He made a new heaven and a new earth. <laughs> God loves us. God loves you. He created you one of a kind. Trusting and following Jesus fixes our broken relationship with God. Are you ready to be the part of this God story? Are you ready? Yes, God loves you. He loves me. He loves everyone. And He created us and you one of a kind and we should trust in Jesus and follow Jesus and Jesus fixes Jesus will fix our relationship with God our broken relationship with God Jesus will fix it for us and Jesus loves you everyone and are you ready to be the part of the story
When they give everyone he trusts and Jesus will love it. Ten and then number one, ten. Number two, uh, building. Right? Number three, the heaven. Number three was the correct answer. Yes, I read the Bible story. Did you enjoy the next time I'll read another good story? Maybe I'll read wonderful story or I'll come with a new one. Now, see you next time. Bye!